All right, guys, um, today we're gonna do very minor uh, changes on the bike. Uh, as you can see, we got uh, new stickers for the fork to match the bike. Um, and then we have these um, plugs, rubber plugs, uh, for some of the holes on the frame. Lastly, we're going to swap the spring um, from 550 to 550-670. And so basically it's a linear spring here and then a progressive spring. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so I've uh, taken off the stickers uh, using a heat gun and uh, now it's just uh, cleaning it and then slapping the new ones on. I think this is pretty easy, right? So I think all you do is throw at it, right? Like this. All right, that looks pretty good. Moving on. All right, now we are uh, removing the shock. So basically, uh, there are two bolts, obviously, at each end of the eyelet, and so I don't strip the bolt. Okay, good. Okay, all right. And then all we need to do is swap out the spring. All right, so to swap out the spring, you want to uh, obviously loosen the preload tensioner, and then you can take the um, bottom plate out so you can slide out the spring okay so this is the 550 pound linear uh, spring and this is the progressive the difference between the two is that the linear um, spring basically means it needs 550 pounds of force to compress about an, an inch and um, so the benefit of progressive is that it starts off at 550 but as it compresses it requires more force. Um, so this one goes all the way up to 670. Um, and the benefit of that is it helps um, uh, preventing bottom outs and stuff like that. So I'm interested to see if the initial stroke though, first half is just as supple as the linear one. So we're gonna try it out today. Um, and then also maybe do a, a, a small drops to see if I bottom out. I don't do anything crazy so should be fine. Let's uh, slide in the spring and slide in the uh, retaining clip. Let it sit on it. So, and then screw the preload screw. And so you just wanna make sure this opening right here is on the opposite end. Yeah, right there. Um, and then we can tighten this. Usually I like to do about two revolutions of preload. Um, again, 550 was about 33% sag for me, so, uh, and that was on about two revolutions of preload. All right, so to put it back on is basically the reverse, make sure all the hardware is in place, all the rubber seals in, in there. So I'm gonna do this one first to hand screw in the screws first. Okay, okay. We won't tighten it all the way, obviously, until both ends are in. All right. So now that we've dropped the bike, let's just aim for this eyelet. Okay, so that's in. All right, so now that the screw's in, let's tighten it. This is, I believe, six newton meters. This is eight. All right. Okay, that's good. There you go, perfect. All right, guys, we are out at Ted Williams and uh, we are going to test the progressive spring. Gonna do a few small drops to see if it bottoms out. And then of course, go down TT and then Otter to see how the uh, first half of the uh, stroke feels. Hopefully it's just as supple as my linear 550, but uh, we shall see. All right, <laughs> look at that. Thanks. Trail dog, I need a trail dog. Practice a little drop action here. Nice and easy. Nice. All right, Eric. You. Sick. All right, TT. You. All 
Nice. Whew. Dude, Eric is freaking hauling ass. Whew. Hey. Nice run guys all right so mid right update um fork feels great 160 super supple up front so uh happy with that the shock uh i noticed ever so slightly uh, a little more harsh than um, uh, the linear one but very supportive didn't bottom out with the drops Damn, I think he cleared it. Woo. Shit. Fucking AP, dude. Oh, oh shit, that rock. Gotta catch up, dude. Too fast. Shit, AP. Too damn fast, dude. Oh, shit. Hold up, hold up. You alright? Yeah. Okay. 
So, oh damn. You good though? Okay. I see. I didn't see you. I was too far behind, so. Ah, <laughs> shit. Hey, that ditch. Yeah, that ditch always gets me. Ah, damn. Whoa, watch out. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hey, I hate that ditch. Oh, heads up. Hiker, hiker. Hiker, hello. The one time I don't turn on my bell. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit.